guys, Erin here with a little bit of everything with Erin to do another quick tutorial to use your Silhouette Studio. Today we will be showing you how to make a chevron letter. So the first thing you're going to need to do is make the letter that you want. And may I suggest using something bold. Bold letters seem to work great. We'll go with the bold font. Now when you see mine, you can see that the sizing is really wrong. This big space here does nothing for us. So what I'm going to do is right click on that and hit convert to path so that I get an accurate size. I'm also going to make this a wee bit bigger for viewing purposes. Now I'm going to make an offset on this by highlighting and going to the star option over here. That's your offset panel. And I'm going to click on offset. If you want your line to be larger, you can just hit the up arrow over here and that'll bring it out further by going like that. And if you want it in closer, just use the down arrow. Also note that your corners, you can have sharp or rounded. I think we'll go with the sharp corners. And then hit apply. Then you'll take that offset and just move it over to the side. We'll go ahead and color that in black. Now you will need a chevron pattern. If you go to Google, just type in chevron pattern and then hit images and you'll see lots of different thicknesses and designs of a chevron. I like to find one that's in black and white just because it's easier to trace. And I've gone ahead and found one already. So I'm going to bring that in to trace it. So you use a little, I think it's supposed to be a butterfly. I call it toast, but you click on that click on select trace area and highlight the whole image. If it's black, you shouldn't have to move your threshold, but if you feel like you do, just go ahead and push your threshold up and that'll change that a little bit. And then just hit trace. And then I move the two and get rid of the one we traced. Now, as you can see, my pattern is not as large as my letter. So I'm just going to pull the corner and then just move your chevron until you're happy where it is. If you're not sure what it'll look like, you can always fill it in with color to kind of get a better idea. So we'll go right here. Now I'm going to just make that clear again. And while I have the chevrons highlighted, I'm going to right click and hit send to back because I want that behind the E. Now I'm going to highlight both images and I'm going to go back to the right and click on our modify panel and I'm going to click on cropped crop so now I have all chevrons shaped as the letter E so I'm going to have and group that I'm going to color it in white then I'm going to bring my offset behind it and then just line it up properly And I'll take the cut lines, I'll make them clear so you can see. How simple was that? And then if you're going to save this or you don't want it to move or you want it to save... I can't speak today. If you want it to go at the same, make sure you group them together so it's just one image. Pretty easy, right? So I hope that was easy enough for you to understand. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If you hit the bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. If you have suggestions for other videos I should be doing, you can leave me a comment below. As always, guys, thanks for watching and happy crafting. Bye!